Oh wait! Honorary Knight! And Paimon, the best guide in Tevat. I humbly beg for your assistance. Wow! Did Paimon hear that right? Is Paimon finally starting to make a name for herself? Oh, wait. Haven't we met? That's right. I am Bernhard, a member of the logistics company under Captain Hertha. Normally, I would hope to become better acquainted before asking for a favor like this, but time's running out, so I really have no, no choice. Please help me rescue the charity event. The charity event? Oh, right! Master Jing mentioned that. So, what happened? Well, the Knights of Favonius wants to run a stall during the festival. The idea is for all profits from the sales to go to charity. Specifically, the funds will provide support to disadvantaged children and elderly citizens. We drew lots to decide whose job it would be, and as it happened, I was the lucky winner. I really didn't want to screw this up, so I asked all around for advice, but my experience is in inventory and shipping. Now I'm supposed to run a whole shop, but it took me forever just to think of what to sell. I'm already completely out of my depth. And that is why I humbly beseech you to render your assistance. Yeah! Also, no need to be so formal. So, you said this is to help out the kids and old folks of Mondstadt, right? Sounds like a great cause! He's an honorary knight, and Paimon's a longtime friend of Favonius! We'll be more than happy to do our part! Oh, I can't thank you enough. Right, let me get down to brass tacks. Before we can open shop, we need to amass a supply of fair brew jellies. This is the basic currency that we will use when running the stall. The wine merchants in the area are in dire need of raw ingredients for winemaking. Sell them raw ingredients, and they will pay you generously in fair brew jellies. Also, there are some international customers looking to purchase beverages in bulk during the Vine Lace Fest period. They're on the market for an agent to handle their purchase orders. In the interest of establishing a long-term business relationship, these customers are usually willing to offer a generous price, and there's also room for negotiation with the wine merchants. The price difference is ours to keep as commission, and you can cash that amount in for fair brew jellies. So to sum up, our job is to sell ingredients to the wine merchants and place orders for the international customers, making sure to negotiate the price, right? Huh, sounds much easier than Paimon imagined. R really Well, that's wonderful. I have one order here with me already. Uh, Mr. Shavirme from Sumeru wishes to purchase 50 crates of fruits of the festival. These beverages can be bought from the Angel's share stand. Uh, the shopkeeper's name is Georg. He's a very nice man, but he won't be pushed around. Please consider the price carefully and try to reach a good deal with Georg. I should carry on setting up the stall now. Once you've gathered enough fair brew jellies, come back here and we'll take it from there. You won't need to worry about supplies for the shop. I'm already in contact with the suppliers and they'll send everything over once the funds are in place. Alright, sounds good! We'll find the funds and you sort out the shop! This is an enormous help. Thank you both ever so much. He's asked us to order 50 crates of fruits of the festival for him. Oh? Did you say Cheverme? He's a regular customer of mine. Always orders around the same amount each time. But I digress. What price are you offering this year? Hmm. 
Hmm, a little lower than I was hoping for, but he's a reliable customer. I think I can make it work. As usual, I will arrange for someone to deliver the goods directly to Shiverme's place of business. You won't have to worry about a thing. Just make sure you keep hold of this receipt. All right, let's keep bringing the funds in. We gotta work quickly if we want to gather all these fair brew jellies in time. Bernard says we can approach this however we want, just as long as we raise all the funds we need. We get a commission for every order we help place for an international customer, so maybe it's not worth trying to sell loads of ingredients to the wine merchants. Still, just to make sure we've covered everything, let's take a look at the other wine merchants. Traveler! Paimon! You're here! Hey! It's Barbara! Thanks! And happy Vine Lace of Fest to you, too! This festival is one of the most popular ones in Mondstadt. I'm so happy I ran into you guys here. I hope you have a great time. Oh, also, I heard from Bernhard that you're collecting Fairbrew jellies. I'm just curious. Are you helping out with the Knights of Pavonia's charity event? We sure are! Everybody's got to do their part, right? The stall isn't up and running yet. We're busy raising funds so they can open for business. There's sure to be a bunch of other problems to deal with once it's open, but whatever comes up, we'll deal with it! Wonderful! <laughs> They're lucky to have you. Now that you've joined the team, I just know it'll be a huge success. I helped out a small charity sale for the Knights once, too. Although, my only contribution was standing out front and singing. Oh! And I also met the bard, Venti, there. He even persuaded me to perform an impromptu song with him. The music he plays is quite refined and elegant. At first, I didn't want to sing too loudly in case I ruined the style he was going for. But he sang a harmony to guide me in, and before long, we were sounding great. In the end, the audience loved it, and we sold a lot at the event. So Barbara's worked with the Tone Deaf Bard before? Yeah. Too bad we couldn't fit it into the schedule this year. The Church of Favonius wants to hold a sung poetry event somewhere with a nice view during the festival, which means I have to go to rehearsal. Yep! Sounds like we've each got our own important work to do! Let's give it our all! Oh, thank you both. Well, maybe I can't stay here and sing, but I still want to do a little something to contribute. I can... um... I can help promote your stall. Hmm... Should I make some big posters? Or maybe some flyers to hand out? I'll have to pick a memorable slogan, too. And maybe it'll seem more sincere if I sign them. Oh, then again, maybe telling people in person would be more effective. Wow! With Barbara helping out on the marketing side, this charity event will get loads more attention! It's fine, really. It won't take me too long. Oh, now I feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> Let me think about it a little more and talk to some other people about their marketing experience. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you later. And, um, the Knights and the Church of Favonius are really proud of you. Aw, thanks! We'll do our best! Paimon's even more motivated than ever now. We gotta make sure we do a really great job here!
A copy of each invoice is sent to the
Hmm. Yep, looks like we've got enough funds now. Let's go see Bernhard. Bernhard! We got all the funds you need. Already? <laughs> wow, you sure work fast. All right, our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Ah, <sighs> what do you think? Not bad, huh? Of course, if you're in a creative mood at any point, feel free to redecorate the place however you want. It's great! Really looks the part. Uh, the, the shop definitely needs a name, though. Hmm. How about, uh, Favonian Goodies? Paimon will take that as a compliment. Okay, Bernhard, so what do you need us to do next? Gathering the funds was a monumental task. It must have been very demanding. So don't worry about all those other menial things that need doing. I'll handle those. You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things, like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs, QC principles, KPIs. Uh, uh, I've got to be honest. I hear other store owners using these terms, but I can't say I really know what they mean. I just know they're important, which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So in other words, we'll be the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work? Yep. My strength is in execution. Your shop, your rules. I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business executives. All right, why don't you go ahead and take a tight five, Bernhard? The two of us need to touch base on strategy. Okay, we have a clear corporate mission statement. Our goal is to become the best art snack shop in the whole festival market. Now let's all prepare to give 110% as we receive our first customers. Traveler? Paimon? What a surprise! Mona and Fischl! You came to check out the market, huh? Hmm. One was wise to follow one's intuition and ask Lady Magistus to join the Princessin on a tour of this folk festival. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid. Most splendid. Main Fräulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. Uh, Oz, spare us your gratuitous embellishments! <laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining. Not long ago, Her Highness had a very nice dream and took it as a sign that something good was about to happen. Naturally, Her Highness's first thought was to come to me for some astrological guidance on the matter. She also noticed that the Vinlesa Fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. I, of course, agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my present column writing spree. I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Vinlesa Fest may well have completely passed me by. <laughs> Lady Magistus, might Her Highness remind you that the dream of which you speak occurred no less than nine days ago? And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter. In vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. Wait, 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 wait. It's been nine days already? Nine days! Where did the time go? In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the passage of time against thee. 
But I would implore you, Lady Magistus, to be attentive at least to the nigh-overflowing mailbox outside your door. There appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You are so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and almost missed out on a huge festival! Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. Speaking of which, it's quite a surprise to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Oh, actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Let me think. Uh, can you recommend anything that uh, goes well with a drink? Sure can. If you got the hangries, then look no further. Just that time and check the menu. Uh, wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, Main Fräulein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh no, no, it's nothing like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visits. You won't need to calm down. Oh, recently, Her Highness invited me to try her signature cold cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, die Heilige Sinfonie. It had such a unique taste, and every bite was so sumptuous. Before I realized it, I had finished the entire plate. <laughs> wow. Well, an empty plate is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. The Halaga Sinfonie is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And, if I'm not mistaken, it's often paired with alcohol, yes? It is, in almost every respect, a far superior dish to the so-called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. Fortunately, however, the Vinalesa Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wine sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. This opportunity is a godsend. I cannot let it slip by. Rejoice, Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Main Fräulein means to say that this dish represents a mere fraction of her full capabilities. But of course, far be it for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. However, I cannot expect the Sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. At the very least, I should have something more than salad in store for when people come around. With any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona? Is that really what this is all about? Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps, long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus. You have long since earned the recognition of your princessin. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. solution to your troubles. In addition to our range of ready-to-eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi-prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Finishing off these ready-to-cook meals at home is easy as pie, takes no time at all, and can help you improve your cooking skills. Then, once you have more time on your hands, you'll 
be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The traveler is really good at cooking. It'd be no problem. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Lady Magistus, your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. But please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just wait. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Pavonian Goodies has just completed its first sale! That's right! And it makes Paimon so happy to see a delighted customer find something that they really like. Oh, Paimon never knew that selling things to people who need them could feel so fulfilling! Looks like being a shop owner is a pretty cool job after all! Alright, let's keep up the momentum and get our name out there!
Honorary Knight, Paimon! Good news! We have some new helpers! These two store owners heard about our charity sale. They want to donate their earnings and join us. What? A donation? Are you sure? Absolutely. Each extra donation means one, one extra person getting the help they need. Both Pauline and I think that's more important than us making more money than we technically need. This year's Vine Laser Fest is busier than previous years, so we met our target earnings more quickly than we expected. That's enough for us. It doesn't seem right to leave the important task of caring for our most vulnerable to you alone. We just want to help however we can. Please, it's the least we can do. Yeah. Hmm, but this does mean we'll have to change the name of our shop. Uh, how about... Favonian Goodies and Buddies? Alright, let's give this all we've got and make this a charity event to remember! Over here for snacks, fresh flowers, and general goods! Folks, grab bargains at Favonian Goodies and Buddies! Huh? Hey, look, it's Albino! Uh, hello there. Looking to buy anything in particular, Albino? I'm not in dire need of anything right now. I just heard that you were running the Knights of Avonia stall and thought I'd come over. As it happens, Timaeus and I made some progress in our research recently, so I took the opportunity to bring you a batch of our finished product. Consider it our contribution to the charity effort. Aww, so you came all the way here just to help us out? That's so nice of you! Let's take a look here. We've got bottles of... Wait, what is this stuff? It's an extra strong sobriety potion that can sober up the intoxicated and alleviate hangovers. Please, hand them out for free to anyone who needs them. Having some complimentary items will undoubtedly help you attract more customers. Sounds like a super useful invention. It must have taken you ages. Oh, uh, it must have been a while since I demonstrated my capabilities to you. I'm a genius. I most likely wouldn't have had any interest in research like this in the past. But now... I think that it's worthwhile using alchemy to make people's lives easier in small ways like this. Definitely. Well, Paimon assumes so, because Paimon's never been drunk before, but plenty of our customers probably have been. It would definitely ruin the mood if someone fell into the lake or tripped over a rock after having one too many glasses of festive cheer. Yeah, Albedo, you should take some snacks back with you and share them with Klee. It's on the house. All right, then. Uh, I shan't refuse. I had no idea you two had such keen business sense. It's a savvy choice of location for selling snacks. There's a festive mood all around, and the division of labor is eminently sensible. If any other Knight of Favonius were running the show, it would be a much more, uh... Generic operation. Wow! Getting complimented by Albedo is an amazing feeling! This must be how it feels to drink an extra strong sobriety potion when you wake up with a groggy head! Anyway, it sounds like you know quite a lot about running a charity sale yourself, Albedo! Well, I provided a dozen or so landscape paintings for a previous charity event, also run by the Knights of Avonius. They must have been worth a fortune! Well, the people buying them certainly thought so. Some felt that my painting style was a rare one worth investing in, 
and offered a large sum of money for each work. This, plus the sizable profits made from auctioning some of my still-life paintings, seemed to give Alice an idea. She used her personal connections to apply for some sort of certification for my artwork. I believe they call it... copyright? Later, many artists began to imitate my landscape paintings, and they became a common sight throughout Mondstadt. According to the rules of the copyright that Alice applied for, the artists need to pay me a portion of their revenue for each landscape painting of this style that they sell. Wealth was never one of my goals. I don't care where the money goes, so I entrusted it to the Knights of Favonius and let them manage it. I suppose it would be fitting to use it to pay for the destruction that Alice has created. But from what I hear, they use it all on charitable initiatives, which is also a noble cause. You never cease to amaze, Albedo! Though it was hardly my original intention, I have come to embrace my unexpected philanthropic achievements. And I am only too happy to share my expertise with you. However, practice is the most essential factor. Uh, <clears throat> well then, I will be returning to the workshop. I wish you and the shop all the best. Thanks for your contribution, and good luck with your research! Come again when you're free!
found you. Huh? Wait! You came here looking for us? Of course! Do you have any idea how popular your charity stall is? Everyone's been talking about it. Favonian Goodies and Buddies, run by the honorary knight and their sidekick, is selling all kinds of fantastic treasures and even giving away some wonderful others for free. Don't miss out! Uh, so after all that, Paimon's back to being the sidekick? Hmm. Still, Paimon's really happy to hear that people are giving good reviews. Anyway, what have you two been up to these days? Did you go off on a trip or something? We haven't seen you around the whole festival. <laughs> That's because we're still working. Huh? You still have to work? Technically, Amber and I are on a vacation schedule. There are more merchant caravans than usual traveling the route between Dormanport and Mondstadt City during the festival. Extra traffic means extra security is required. Because of monsters and bandits and stuff? Yes. The Reconnaissance Company is tasked with patrolling this route during the festive period. As well as traveling with the caravans to ensure essential goods are delivered without incident. We have to investigate suspicious locations to eliminate any emerging threats. <sighs> that seems like a lot of work. Sounds like you'll be working non-stop around the clock right up until the end of the Vine Lisa Fest. Of course not. We take shifts. While one team is on duty, another is resting, and a third team is on standby in case of emergencies. These three teams rotate periodically. Yule is such an experienced captain. She arranged everything this way so that the reconnaissance company can meet the intense demand during the festival, while still giving everyone a chance to take some time off. Gotta say, great organizing, Eula. Yes, alright, Amber. I did my job like I always do. I really don't see what the fuss is all about. Enough, both of you. The festive spirit is turning you into giddy little children. <clears throat> anyway, we didn't come here just to chit-chat. I'll let Eula do the honors. Okay. I need 40 portions of Night Special Northern Smoked Chicken, and 40 of Favonia's favorite pile'em up. That's such a huge order! What's the occasion? Wait, are the Knights of Favonia's having an official feast? How come nobody told us about it? <laughs> Nothing quite as glamorous as all that. Captain Eula wants some supplies to reward her team members with. Correct. Scouts use up an enormous amount of energy in a single day. Each meal, they eat enough to feed... Hmm... Four to five normal people. Plus, a long-standing member has recently returned to our ranks after a long absence. I thought it would be fitting to celebrate the occasion. Of all the things I could have bought, I thought it would be best to have the money go to you. That way, I can support a charitable cause while I'm at it. Paimon agrees! You made the right decision, Eula. It's what we business owners call a win-win situation! Also, about this long-standing member you mentioned, is it that guy we met recently? Nika, the frontline land surveyor. He was a vital member of our team before the Grandmaster borrowed him for the expedition. Nika! Yeah, that's the one! Paimon never would have thought that shy little guy was such a strong knight! Mika's not afraid of you guys. That was his way of showing respect to you. Although, admittedly, it is kind of a roundabout way of doing it. He thinks all mighty people have unique personalities and prefers to understand what makes them tick and the way they think before properly interacting with them. He says it makes it easier to communicate that way. He was the same way toward me and Amber at first. As we gradually got to know each other, he started acting more naturally. Interesting. Sounds like Mika's the one with the unique personality. Mm-hmm. It'll just take a little time, that's all. You are a high-profile figure within the Knights of Favonius. As his commanding officer, I have a duty to make sure no misunderstandings arise between you. Uh, it's all right, Eula. We get it. You're just looking after him. Wait, Eula, did you just pay for my portion too? I was supposed to pay for mine separately. I'm not an official member of the Reconnaissance Company. <sighs> if you want to get official about it, then fine. It's officially my treat. There, now stop worrying. Oh, thanks to you and Amber, we made a whole day's worth of Mora in one fell swoop! 
Honorary Knight, Paimon, I have the most wonderful news. Thanks to your sterling efforts, the funds we've raised in this charity sale have blown our original predictions right out of the water. It's a phenomenal success. Paimon told you so. We're good at this stuff. Ah, but you two deserve all the credit. It's your expert management that made this event what it was. I've handed over all the revenue to the person responsible for managing our charitable funds. And with that, the event finally comes to a close. As a gesture of our appreciation, we'd like to give you both a fee for all your hard work. You've more than earned it. After this, I feel like I could even run a shop of my own in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the chance to work together one day. It feels like we accomplished a lot together. If the chance ever comes up, let's do it again!